Today I'll be using the model 625 HDP hand dredge from Golden Super Products. You can tell this is a hand dredge because the discharge valve follows the 90 degree elbow. Also, today I'll be using the 12 inch telescoping pipe assembly. So I'll be using the inch and a half steel line restrictor nozzle, 2 inch diameter discharge hose, and the experimental gravity trap concentrator inserted into the modified bucket lid inserted into the modified bucket lid. I'm going to just use the bucket to collect the tailings from my operation and dump them off the site. This is the experimental gravity concentrator. The way I have this here will help maintain the proper angle to keep the gold from escaping from the deep V ripples or let's just say from the deep V gravity traps because they're not really ripples at all. I'm all done hand dredging the bedrock here. I kept the experimental gravity trap concentrator at that angle throughout the entire episode. And now I'm going to empty the final of six buckets of material through the concentrator. And now I'm going to dump it over here, see how much gold is in the concentrator, and if there's a lot of gold in the concentrator, then I'm going to pan some of this over here to see if any of it is in the tailings. Cleanouts are easy with the experimental gravity trap concentrator. The smooth interior allows for the sand to just slide right out. Couldn't be easier. A one minute clean out. There we go. 100% clean. And folds right back up for transport. All right, let's see if we have any gold. Now to me, that looks like a lot of black sand right there. Man, that looks like all black sand. I don't even, I mean, I don't even know if I should try to pan that. I don't think I should even try to pan that. Gee whiz. I'm going to have to break that down into smaller amounts. That's just too much black sand. Well, let's see if there's any gold in there. Fine gold right there. See that? Pick it out with my snuffer bottle. Another piece right there. Now, even with bad water conditions, you can see that. That first pan full had a lot of fine gold in it. And now, that was only from a couple tablespoons of the black sand. So now what I want to do, is I want to take a look at all the, the gold in this uh, black sand right here. There it is, right there. And that is from two tablespoons of the black sand. Oh, look, there's more right there. I didn't even get it all.
look at it now. Now, once again, so without the Model 625, all this gold probably would have been left there. As a precaution, I saved all the tailings from this section of bedrock that I hand dredged yesterday. I did check the concentrates and they did have fine gold in them and plenty of it. And over here is or are the tailings from that operation. Now as part of the sluice challenge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to classify these down with a classifier screen and then I'm going to send them through the sluice box to see just how much gold escaped the experimental gravity trap concentrator. I had about six buckets of material after I classify out all the rocks. It should get down to maybe four buckets of material. Okay, let's get started. I've retrieved five buckets of material from yesterday when I was hand dredging the bedrock over there and saving the tailings on another section of bedrock. I have the sluice all set up and I'm going to start classifying the larger rocks out that the hand dredging left in there. And then, after I get all this material sluiced out, I'll check and see how much gold and buckshot and uh, rusty metal and everything else is in there to let me know whether or not the experimental gravity trap concentrator was able to handle the load or whether I needed to empty it out more frequently. I'm all the way down to the final pan of the tailings from yesterday's hand dredging operation using the experimental gravity trap concentrator as a standalone concentrator. Now that turned out to leave five buckets of material and I don't really see very much in the sluice that tells me I lost anything from the concentrator. This is how my sluice has been running. The rib mat inside there is very efficient at trapping any fine gold or any other gold that happens to be put into the sluice with the gravel. All right, let's take a look. I can see black sand, plenty of it right here, and it looks like over here, at the edge of this line right here, there's more black sand. It looks like black sand was getting through the concentrator, but as long as none of the gold was getting through the concentrator, that's what counts. It's safe to assume that black sand can go through the concentrator without pushing the gold out. Now it looks like there's a real fine flake of gold right there. But we won't know how much gold is in the sluice until it gets panned out. All right. Time to pan out the concentrate. There's a little piece of gold right there. A little tiny one. That, that's the one that I pointed out in the sluice box. Alright. First pan one little flake of gold. Look at that nice magnetite in there. Man, that's really something. There's some iron right there. Some more iron. Rusty iron pellets. Uh, let's see. Not even any color in there. Now, at 
at this point, there's only two variables. One is that when I was sluicing, the sluice was running too fast, so none of the gold got trapped. But that's not likely because I wouldn't have all this black sand here. The second variable would be that yesterday, or yeah, yesterday somebody came up here and uh, sluiced all the material and then replaced it with something that didn't have anything in it. So, the conclusion is that the experimental gravity trap concentrator can be used as a standalone concentrator when you're hand dredging and trying to get gold. Today I'll be using the model 625 HDP hand dredge from Golden Sniffer Products and the experimental gravity trap concentrator as a standalone gold concentrator. Also today, once again, I'll be using the 24 inch telescoping pipe assembly which is two 12 inch sections of thin wall PVC pipe and the inch and a half steel lined restrictor nozzle along with inch and a half diameter hose. You can tell that this is a hand dredge because it has the discharge valve following the 90 degree elbow. Now this is the same site I've been working for the last couple of trips here. There's bedrock all along this section here. The water is murky because of recent thunderstorm activity. But I know that there's shallow bedrock here which I've been working and getting fine gold from. I'm going to continue to work this area here. And then at the end of the day, We'll check the clean out and see how much gold was inside the experimental gravity trap concentrator. I've been working on this section of bedrock for a few hours, a couple hours in it. And I filled a couple five gallon buckets with material. I couldn't get to the bottom with a hand ridge. I couldn't reach the bottom. So what I'm going to have to try to do is shovel and then later on when the water clears out, I'll bring my face mask back and resume with a snorkel. But first I gotta see if there's gold in there, so I'll be checking the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Once again, it just folds right up, no problem at all. Well, what I like about the experimental gravity trap concentrator, besides the deep bees and the smooth interior, is that it loads up with black sand and gold. That's what we're looking for out here. that black sand. Isn't that nice? That looks like there's some gold in there again too. Oh yeah. That'll be another good clean out. Oh yeah. 